subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Amazon EC2 Spot Instances A spot instance, is an unused EC2 instance, that is available for less than the on-demand price. Using spot instances, you can lower your Amazon EC2 costs significantly. Combine spot instances with reserved instances, and on-demand instances, using EC2 auto-scaling, to optimize workload cost with performance. The hourly price for a spot instance is called a spot price, and the spot price of each instance type in each availability zone, is set by Amazon EC2, and adjusted gradually, based on the long-term supply of, and demand for spot instances. Spot instances are a cost-effective choice, if you can be flexible about when your applications run, and if your applications can be interrupted. For example, spot instances are well suited for data analysis, batch jobs, background processing, and optional tasks. You can use spot instances for various stateless, fault-tolerant, or flexible applications such as big data, containerized workloads, high-performance computing, HPC, and other test and development workloads. For using spot instances, you choose all instances and availability zones that works for your workloads, then choose your interruption behavior, and then launch and scale your target capacity. It is beneficial to follow best practices for using spot instances. 1. Be flexible about instance types. Test your application on different instance types when possible. Because prices fluctuate independently for each instance type in an availability zone, you can often get more compute capacity for the same price when you have instance type flexibility. 2. Choose pools, where prices haven't changed much. Because prices are just based on long-term demand, and popular instance types tend to have more price adjustments. Therefore, picking older generation instance types that are less popular tends to result in lower costs and fewer interruptions. Similarly, the same instance type can have different prices in different availability zones. 3. Minimize the impact of interruptions. Amazon EC2 Spot's Hibernate feature, allows you to pause, and then resume Amazon EBS backed instances, when capacity is available. You can also stop, or terminate your spot instances, when EC2 reclaims the capacity back with two minutes of notice. One strategy to maintain a minimum level of guaranteed compute resources, for your applications, is to launch a core group of on-demand instances, and supplement them with spot instances when the opportunity arises. Another strategy is to launch spot instances with a specified duration, which are designed not to be interrupted and will run continuously for the duration you select. Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling Auto scaling ensures the availability of the correct number of EC2 instances, to handle the load for your application. You can create collections of EC2 instances, called auto scaling groups. You can specify the minimum and maximum number of instances, in each auto scaling group, and Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling, ensures that your group never goes below the minimum, and above the maximum size. If you specify the desired capacity, Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling ensures, that your group has this many instances, if you specify scaling policies, then Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling can launch, or terminate instances, as demand on your application increases or decreases. Auto Scaling Components The following are the key components of auto scaling. 1. Groups Your EC2 instances are organized into groups, so that they can be treated as a logical unit for the purposes of scaling and management. When you create a group, you can specify its minimum, maximum, and desired number of EC2 instances. 2. Configuration Templates Your group uses a launch template or a launch configuration, as a configuration template for its EC2 instances. You can specify information, such as the AMI, ID, instance type, key pair, security groups, and block device mapping for your instances. 3. Scaling Options Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling provides several ways for you, to scale your auto scaling groups. For example, you can configure a group to scale, based on the occurrence of specified conditions or on a schedule. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel, 